In the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, all the guns that we made using the Weapon Mixer machine were normal sized. <laughs> Only some of them were small. Average. But none of them have ever been truly big until now. And I'm saying that because as I was checking the Weapon Mixer today, I noticed something unusual. A very big, big button on the side of it. There has been an update. We're gonna be testing out this new button in this video and we'll see how it affects the size and function of the weapons. Oh, and if you are new, this is a Weapon Mixer 7000. So basically what it does is you choose two or more weapons from the panel, then you press the combine button and out comes a combined weapon. To learn how to activate this machine, go watch episode 5. The sequence is still the same for now. But before we start making very cursed weapons, you know where you can find actually good weapons? Skins Monkey. Do you have any cheap trash skins that you never use and want to get rid of? Select all of them. Now using their basic or advanced search system, find the perfect skin you like that is in the same combined price range, select it, press trade, and that's it. Now you own an actually good skin. Super simple to use. They offer one of the lowest fees, extensive selection of skins, not only CS, but TF2 and Rust skins as well. And if you click this when you sign up, you will get free $5. And there's other tasks that gives free credit to the new users as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for the sponsorship, <laughs> and let's get back to the video. All right, let's make some big weapons. All right, let's start with something simple, like a hand grenade. Now, if we press the big button, and then the combine button, out will come a weapon that's too big for the table. The big grenade. This is Fat Man, a nuclear b dropped by United States on Hiroshima during World War II. And this is Big Grenade. A grenade so big, it takes four full-grown men to operate it. One to pull the pin, the second one to load the grenade onto the remaining two men. And then those two men throw the grenade towards other men or any other target. No nuclear fission, no uranium or plutonium, no complex chemical reactions, no even more complex launch procedures, just BOMB. We'll demonstrate how to throw it now. Remember, time is of the essence, so this has to happen very quickly. First, this guy will pull the pin. Once he does that, the second guy is going Oh. All right, let's try something else. All right, let's try this button on firearms now. Let's choose the op from the panel. And if we press the big button, and then the combine button, out will come... the big scope. I thought the telescope that we created in one of the previous videos was the highest zooming weapon we could create with this machine. It zoomed in so much you could actually see the germs on the enemy's face. These aren't germs! Yeah! But then I came across the big scope. Much like my viewers, I am not good with things that are too big. I'm more experienced with stuff that are usually not big enough. That's why it took me a while to learn how to use this weapon properly. The op itself has increased drastically in size and now shoots bullets that are 100 caliber. But the biggest change for some reason is the scope. In fact, it's so big, you can't even look through it if you're holding it. That's why there's a second, smaller scope in front of the shooter to actually see where you are aiming. But what's the purpose of the big scope, then you ask? No professional sniper ever goes out without a spotter. That's who the main scope is for. Instead of the huge binoculars they usually carry, your spotter now becomes the part of the weapon, directly communicating and giving you correct information.
But still, the telescope was compact and could see as far as the moon. So why this? Well, I left out the most important part. The magnification power on Big Scope is so much that it actually breaks through the space-time continuum detecting matter using light from the future. It's a time machine. But you can't go through or interact with it. You can only watch. Not only that, if you look through the other way, it zooms out so much that you can actually see the past. It's insane. One of the craziest weapons that have come out from the mixer machine. Alright, for the next weapon, let's try to... <laughs> you really thought I wasn't gonna look through the scopes and show you what I saw? What kind of crappy channel you think this is? Alright, let's go see the future. I wanna see what's up. Maybe everyone's dead. <laughs> Oh, the scope now is set up in a way that it should show us this area just a few years into the future. But that can be adjusted, of course. Alright, let's see what's up. Alright, let's adjust the focus. Whoa. I mean, I expected worse, to be honest. I guess I could tolerate the modern day living conditions of Eastern Europe. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, everything is yellow and gloomy, but I bet we could find someone that's having fun. There's a building right there with some light coming out of it, so there's gotta be people. So let's go look around, let's go look in some windows. See, see, there's a guy right there. See, it has a nice fireplace going, probably a romantic dinner or a birthday with his loved ones. Based on his movements, he's probably dancing. <laughs> Fireworks! So it is his birthday! Alright, let's not bother that guy anymore. Let's see, find someone else. There's gotta be some. What? Thought I saw something there. What? Am I seeing stuff or what? Alright, let's go check the level below. There's gotta be. See? There's a guy that's, that's hanging, hanging, hanging out. Around. <coughs> uh, what? You know what it is? It, the roof is where the party's at. So let's go on the roof. There's a nice view. It's gotta be a lot of young people. They like to hang out, have a drink, full of life, and... It, it Base jumping. Overall, I mean, I grew up in Eastern Europe, so this is what every day looked like, pretty much. So it's fine, as long as there's breathable air. <laughs> Actually, that's... N <laughs> Maybe let's try looking in the past? We are in old town in Italy? There's no way anything bad can be happening here, right? Alright, let's see what's up in Italy. Alright, let's focus the lens. I already hear music. Oh my god, it's so much better! You see, there's two guys already dancing. There's music going on. Dude, it's so much better than the future. All right, you see, you see two guys standing there. They're having a blast. Italian flag. Oh, that, that's it. That, that's. What? Huh? You can see me. You can see. Me. So you can go through it, dude. Set the, set the date exactly, exactly on January two thousand nine. Oh my god! Alright, we got this. Didn't miss anything important. Everything's here. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Here we go! Ah, my back! Oh, my back! Alright, let, let's do one more. But before we move on to the final weapon, guys, today's sponsor is 500 Casino. 500 Casino offers a... No, 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 what are you doing? It's not the same site. Well, I mean it is, but they rebranded. 500 Casino offers an insane amount of games you can choose from. Do you like casino games? Like blackjack, slots, roulette, etc. There's hundreds of different types from multiple, multiple providers. Whatever you're looking for, you're probably gonna find it here. Do you like betting on sports? They have an extensive collection in their sportbook section, both sports and esports. And on top of that, they have their classic, original, in-house games such as roulette, crash, wheel of fortune. Nope. That 
but that's a rook better! Affiliate system, reward system, rakeback, extensive withdrawal options with crypto, as well as CS and Rust skins. And with a very responsive customer service, 500 Casino stands to be one of the best out there. Check them out, guys. Thanks a lot for them for the sponsorship, and let's get back to the video. So I had a thought, what would happen if we make a silenced weapon bigger? Is it gonna silence the weapon more or is it gonna be louder? Let's test it out. Let's take a loud weapon like a revolver and combine it with something with a suppressor. And if we press the big button and the combine button, out will come the big silencer? Holy sh! It's so big and black. All the big went towards the silencer. The weapon is still the same, but the gigantic size of it is the least weird part about this weapon. After examining it for a bit to see what's it made of, we found out that if you try to look through it, your view will be blocked by this unidentified dark matter. Not even the light can go through. Occasionally you'll hear some odd sounds coming out of it too. It also gets a bit chilly when you get close, and whatever goes inside does not come back. We tested this. It's like a border between realities or something. If you feel something, just let it go. Don't touch it. We just want to know if it's even hollow inside or not. I don't know. What? What? No, 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 no. But the question is, does it work as a silencer? So let's test it out. Test number one, big silencer attached to a revolver in three, two, one. Is that fine? In three, two, one. What? Does the gun work? Let's take this off for a second. What? What? No, 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 no. Are you sure the gun works? Have you looked in the cylinder? Is it even? Ah, 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 my back! My back! <laughs> Can you try lowering it a bit? Maybe it's the fog that's not letting the, the bullet come out of the barrel. Oh, Motherfucker. So it shoots. There's no way it makes no sound. We need something bigger. Test number two, big silencer on a fully automatic machine gun in three, two, one. There's no way. There's zero sound, no recoil, no tracers, no smoke, no nothing. It's completely still. What the f Can you lower it a bit so we can see it actually hitting that truck over there? I'll stand back this time. Maybe we can actually see it hit something, if it's even effective or not. Ah! Ah! Oh, my back! Oh, my back! This is it, guys. What you're hearing now is the sound of a fully automatic machine gun being fired with a big silencer attachment. It completely suppresses the sound, completely removes the recoil and the muzzle flash, and it compl- What is this? Did these arrows come out of the- What the f*** is going on in there? I gotta go in. I don't care. I don't care if it kills me. I have to know. I have to know what's inside. Alright, here we go. Where could this possibly lead to? Keep it still and don't shoot! It's so cold. Where the fuck does this go? You. Huh? You were trying to cross the border, right? No. Walk right no. The Imperial no, it can't be this shit. It can't be this shit.